I'm going to go ahead and call this meeting to order at 532. And is there any adjustments to the agenda? No, nope. great. Okay, uh, discussion, the annual school district warning. There we are. Okay. Um, so I had a question about the warning, Tara, and um, in article eight, we're requesting the sum of $217,000 to go into the, the um, Rochester Stockbridge Capital Improvements Fund. Is that correct? No, you're requesting you. 40,000. Okay. $217,048 is the fund balance. And okay. of that fund balance, 400,000, not to exceed 400,000, 40,000, sorry. 40,000. Okay. The Rochester Stockbridge Capital Improvement and Maintenance of Facilities Fund. Good. Okay. Thank you. That's that's what I thought we were doing. And um, I guess I read that a little differently and was confused. Great. Um, is there yeah. any questions um, about the warning or any discussion? Um, I would only say that that the um, that article might be um, worded a little differently because it immediately causes some confusion. I had to read it twice earlier to fully understand it. Right, and 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 I had to just ask Tara because I was confused as well. So, um, is there other wording that we can use? This was the wording that was provided by council. It's the same wording that was in your warning last year. So I think we're just going to have to explain it when we present it is what that means. Okay. That this much is going towards our budget for next year from the surplus. And this much is what you're voting on to go into the surplus. It's just all we're going to have to break it down. Okay. Yes, I, I agree. And if we can make sure in the um, report that we are very uh, clear about that as well, that this amount you'll see this on article eight this is the amount of our fund balance and we're requesting we're, we're putting giving back to the voters a portion and we're um we're requesting a it's 40 000 to go into the um capital improvements okay well just we're in the education yes, business so um, we should be able to figure it out and be able to explain it. So, <laughs> um, that's cool. So, uh, are you ready to move? I I can't read the whole thing, and I haven't had a chance to read it. And I didn't. Did we? I can't find that it was sent to read ahead. Of I time. emailed it to the board this morning. Okay, so it should be in your board emails. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. I guess I wasn't looking at something from you. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, yeah, so we're voting Australian ballot. We're going to do Australian ballot. I, okay. Only for your no. officers. Everything else is from the floor. Right. So the, um, we are going to vote on, on all of these articles, one through eight on the floor. And then if you scroll down, is there articles, I guess through article 10, and then article 11 will be voted on by Australian ballot, which is specifically the, the directors, the officers. And as you can see there, Rochester votes to elect, um, and it shows that there's, if you keep scrolling down, mm -hmm. So Jessica can see it. Right. So this is what will be voted on by Australian ballot the next um on Tuesday, May 2nd. The same day that our annual meeting is going to be, the voters are going to need to go to the town clerks of their respective towns to vote for the officers by Australian ballot. So that is another thing that we just need to make sure we lay out to yeah, it is voters. It's confusing the way it, that part is laid out because 
you know, I instantly read that at the end and think I have all day Tuesday to vote on these, but it's, you know, it, you do. I don't know. You've all, oh, all day Tuesday to vote on the entire ballot. Okay. What you're saying. And you're, also in you the case not, of you the opening all day. paragraph. Okay. So if you read the very opening to consider and act upon the following yeah, articles yeah. 1 through 10 and to discuss mm -hmm. the article to be voted upon by Australian ballot, Article 11 mm -hmm. only. So it does specify in the opening paragraph that mm -hmm. they are only, and their ballots will be because they can request an absentee ballot. Yeah, so the ballot I, I know. will be available 30 days. I see so that. So it's just the directors. I see that. So um, it's just, yeah, um, you know, I'm just trying to make sure if, you know, all we get a, a good audience, you know, people are clear. Um, they're being called to do this uh, this night and, and this is the next day. So, okay. Right. No, it's the and same it day. All the same day. The ballots are, the polls are open from 10 to 7 on Tuesday, May 2nd, and your floor meeting is Tuesday night, May 2nd at 7. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's all the same day in this instance. In other towns, yes, that's how it has been historically is the floor vote is the night before and then okay. the ballots the next day. So that's how some of it has happened. But mm -hmm. this is truly right now all on the same day. Okay. All right, good. No, I'm just wrapping my head around it all. Thank you. Yes, and so when somebody asks you, you are able to answer them. <laughs> Okay, well, I'll entertain a motion to accept the um, annual meeting warning as presented. Is there specific language move. that needs to uh, go around that, Tara? Second. Okay, it's been, um, motion's been made and seconded by Robert. Uh, is there any dis further discussion? Uh, seeing no discussion, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All opposed? Excellent, the ayes have it. So moved. All right. Okay. Wendy, okay. do you have the printed copy there? I do. So okay. I just want to for so, the 20th day of March in Stockbridge, Vermont, and then have them start signing. Um, I wouldn't date it until everyone has signed. Right, I'll let Patrick date it at the end after yeah. everybody's signed he'll have to sign it again as the clerk. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm just gonna pass that around. Yeah, and Patrick, you get both duties. So after the entire board has signed, you will then sign again as the clerk of the district. And then once okay. you've done that, then a copy needs to come back to me um, to put to, for all of it to go in the mailer and then also will need to be posted. And we can't post uh, within 30, but no more than 45 days of the meeting, just so everyone's aware what the posting requirement is for the warning. Yes, Robert. Uh, how do we handle the fact that I'm in Florida? When do you come back, Robert? We only need a majority of the board to sign. So if we're minus I'm, your I'm signature. Not back till, I'm not back till the first week in, in April. So. Yeah, then I wouldn't, I mean, I wouldn't stress okay. over it. That's okay. Your your signature just won't be on it, um, but it is okay. We just need to have a majority of the board to sign it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is there any further? Um, Are you guys going to? Uh, there was also in Jamie's email about an informational meeting. Are you going to wait for that to be an agenda item at the beginning of April or? Um, it sounded like there were some conflicts. Like I know personally, I'm not available except for that Saturday of April break. Okay. Too. Yeah, I didn't. It wasn't on the agenda, so I didn't. Um, I didn't look into that at all. Um, I'm not sure. Um, there was two dates that he was looking at for an informational meeting, right? The twenty seventh. April 22nd and April 24th and a couple people have already responded that the 22nd won't work for them. I'm not available okay. the 24th. And, and Lindsay's have not available the 24th? We would have to do it without Lindy. If you guys decide that you want to do a separate informational meeting. Okay. Yeah, the 22nd is a Saturday. That's an interesting um, proposal. 
Um, okay, I think we need to get with Jamie again and see what other dates we can can do though. Because I personally, I I really feel I'd like to have Lindy at. Well, this is the informational meeting you're just, just you're talking about. This is not the in, the the budget meeting, as right. This is we just really want to that it. one. <laughs> yeah, it's like the informational meeting that we did last year, Amy at Rochester. Right. I mean, it's the same information you're going to be presenting if you use the same presentation that we did last year, the Google presentation. So if you present that the informational meeting, you would then in turn be presenting that again on the night of the actual meeting. So some people may see the presentation twice. Where others, you know, that right. I think we had um, rolled around that we would could do a informational meeting in Stockbridge, and then the annual meeting in Rochester, just so on um, you have to have a balance there of, of reaching all of our our residents. Um, because they can't vote on the rest of the articles, obviously by Australian ballot. So that's right. some that that did cause some confusion because people were used to Australian ballots the last couple of years having the informational meeting. So we did, just to give you the heads up, we did have to make sure that was really clear because several people thought that they could vote on all articles again by Australian ballot. So just be right. aware and, and cognizant that, of that. I'm sure that that is gonna be confusing again this year and we need to lay it out fairly clearly. Um, yeah. Having that informational meeting gives us a good opportunity to really reach people and say, um, go tell your friends to vote on this budget. You have to come to the meeting next yeah. next Monday. Yeah. Oh, so I do see the value in, in having an yeah. information having an informational meeting. Um, so uh, Lindy is not available on the twenty fourth, and many of our board members are not available on the twenty second, which is a Saturday, which might be uh, I don't know is that better or worse for for families to to come to. Well, JC is one of the ones that I think that she said wasn't available on the 22nd. And okay. if it's in Stockbridge, it might be, it might be good if she could make it. Absolutely. Um, I'm wondering, we had talked earlier, I thought about um, the, the um, what we just warned for our budget hearing about, excuse me, not the hearing, but our meeting and the votes on the budget uh, would be on Tuesday, May 2nd. But I thought we had also explored the idea of having our informational meeting on that Monday be right before on May 1st. And um, I'm wondering whether that, uh, just we have a few people here, whether that'd be viable with, uh, would people would be available for that alternative? Um, that, that worked for me too. Um, and I do remember us bringing that up and maybe that's why I had Monday stuck in my mind for the annual meeting. Jamie's email today says he'll be returning from Ohio on Monday, May 1st. Ah, okay. But that's the informational meeting. Yes. He'll be there. Yeah. He said he so, would make it to the annual meeting. Hmm. And Lindy, are you available on May 1st? Yeah, I'm back. I'm just, I can't chance that my flight will be on time on that Monday to be virtual for a meeting. I don't on trust. May on May 1st, or are you talking about the 24th? Oh, oh, I'm back on May 1st. There's kids. Cannot be here when kids are here. That's okay, you'll be here on May 1st. I'll okay. be here on May 1st. I meant on the 24th. I don't okay. trust that you're okay. Um, so our, regu our regular meeting is on the on the 1st, right? And that can be right. also our informational meeting? Um, I would... I would like to talk to Jamie about that, but I would probably recommend that we uh, don't have a regular meeting and a informational meeting at the same time. Um, yeah. I think we should stick to informational meeting only right. just to get everybody up to speed and ready for the budget vote and and not other details of, of our, our work. Um, we might need to reschedule that or um, which was what we would, we would have to do if we have the informational meeting May 1st. Okay, um, I didn't get a chance to read Jamie's um, uh, email today. I was at VTC all day. Um, so I guess uh, I, I would like to um, bring this to Jamie and just get back and, and email back a train with everybody of, of, um, this, of thoughts. Yes, uh, Pat. I was just thinking about the pros and cons of doing it the night before. Um, I'm wondering if that, you know, if we're relying on people going to the informational meeting and then 
hopefully telling, uh, you know, friends, family, whatever, that how important it is to show up, you know, 24 hours isn't a lot of time to do that. And typically people that show up to meetings are there to complain. <laughs> so it would be good to get as much support as we can. And I feel like a day to do that isn't, isn't really enough time, if that makes any sense. It, it makes sense to me. Oh, did we lose Amy? <laughs> I, I get what you're saying too, asking people to come out twice. Um, yeah. Or, or for, you know, changing somebody's mind here at the informational meeting for them to then, you know, digest that and, and play a role in supporting the budget. It, it's just not a lot of time. I mean, it, to me, the informational meeting should be at least a week before. <clears throat> Sorry, I froze up there, had to had to get off and jump back on. Um, I heard the tail end of what you're saying, Pat, and I do kind of agree with you if we're, we are trying to get information out there and then have people talk to each other and say, you know, we, to vote, we really need to um, come to the meeting. Um, so maybe the 24th, I mean, unfortunately, Lindy won't be able to be there, um, but, uh, she will be there strong for our annual meeting. Um, is that, That's uh, all, that? Isn't that also the town, the Rochester uh, Select Board meeting? On the 24th? Yes. Okay. What, uh, question, uh, when is, do we expect the, our annual school report to hit the mailboxes? Um, because I, I hear what Patrick's just saying is it doesn't give people much time, but if if they get the annual school report that you know in 33 pages, whatever it shows, all the documentation in graphs and in numbers and in, in text, then um, for those that have questions based on the annual report, they have the second bite of the apple, which is to go to our informational meeting, and um, those that don't um just need to show up and vote and, and and my sense is those people that have questions um the other ones are going to be tuned into the informational meeting those that say gee this just seems okay um they're going to go and vote i think our big job is to be able to explain to those that have questions uh and the other thing is to get out the vote um both australian ballot for the candidates and right. um for the for the meeting so and the other thing is, that I think it's really important for our principal to be at the informational meeting, just like it is for Jamie. It's just, uh, Lindy knows what's going on far more in, into the details of everything. So if, I just urge, hopefully, Amy, we can come up with a way that has Amy there, gives enough time, and Jamie um, can get the job done. Well, I guess I'd recommend that I'd reach out to Jamie about um, later in the week um of that the week of the 24th um if we could do it on the 26th or 27th that so it's vacation for us that's why we're not in town that week that's why oh 24th through what april vacation yeah that whole week so i'm not sure even if you tell that you would get like that yeah parent turnout either the last the whole last week of april yeah okay the last week of april is april vacation okay got it so the option is um, almost uh, uh, the 20th, the, the, the week before that. Um, and I don't even know if our books, I mean, people will be just getting our books and stuff by then. Um, interesting dilemma. Okay. Uh, I, I hear all the, that, um, I hear all that you guys are, everybody's saying, um, I think, I think I, I'll reach out to Jamie and try to, to come up with a solution and, and I guess I think would be the best at this point um, to see if there what we can make work. Because um, I, I agree, I don't think doing it during vacation is going to be very helpful. Um, on the other hand, there is a lot of um, taxpayers that 
don't have vacation <laughs> that week too. Um, but uh, is it all? It's all of the supervisory union has the twenty fourth through the everybody is off. Okay. Okay. Uh, so we'll take this. Your... All right. Go ahead, Robert. Uh, so we'll take this up on on our next regular meeting on the third. Is that? Is there any reason? Yeah, I, I think we can solidify it on the third. I'll, I'll send okay. emails around to see, to to see availability and and when uh, try to come up with a plan. Okay. Does that make sense? I presume there's no no legal problem in 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 warning the um, informational meeting at um, after the third. I don't believe so, Tara. An informational meeting doesn't have any specific time restraint requirements for posting a agenda or a warning. Is that correct? My recollection, I don't have the statute here at the house with me, is that the only requirement is that it's within five days. And that's because of an Australian ballot vote. But I don't recall the posting requirements. I'd have to check the statute and email you. Okay, but thank you, Robert, for bringing that up so that we are conscious of, of that time frame as well. Okay. A story just for going way back in time. Uh, I was working in Wellesley, Massachusetts, and we had annual town meetings, and there there weren't uh, representatives, so everybody came and voted. And uh, just so happened, they always started on Monday on the final floor, finals. <laughs> and you know, oh, we'd stand up and people would moan and groan and 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 throw pitchforks and tomatoes and everything else, but no tradition. Overruled sport, <laughs> what do you want to call it? Extravaganza. So, um, the best time of the year. Uh, I, I, I think we can do better than the town of Wells they did back in the day. It's funny. Got it. Well, I think we will be able to come up with some kind of compromise. It will not be perfect, but I think we can make it work. Yeah. Okay, great. Well, I will reach out to Jamie and I will get back to, you know, put some feelers out or we'll just decide on, uh, on this at our next meeting. Great. Is there any other discussion items? Great. I entertain a motion, motion to adjourn. adjourn. Excellent. Okay. Second, everybody. Jess. Excellent. Everybody have a good night.